It's Friday and I'm comfy. You so is he? We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, come back tomorrow and the next day, next day, next day, next day, next day and forever because we love you. We're at our you. favorite resort tonight. And it's almost holiday time. The it is trees, holiday time. Well, but the tree's not here yet. And that's right. when it's officially holiday but time. Look. But new additions, let's go. Then we'll relax. Disney World is getting here. All right, today for Sarah and I, we're both very productive and very quick. So fast. I felt like Sarah dropped me off at like 8.20 at the office, and next thing I know it's 5 o'clock. I could have done more work, but I'll end up working this weekend. So tonight, we're enjoying ourselves. Thank you, Alexis. Alexis, no last name. Whoever you are, thank you so much. We checked our P.O. box, guys, because I found the key. I found we my key. We bought a new key and we found the old key the same day. Yes. <laughs> but I got in the mail today a happy birthday Disney gift card. And we planned on coming here to Geyser Point to actually eat anyway. We're going to use that gift card. Yeah, and the bugs and are going to be for my birthday. For and the bugs are on their way. The cabin is small, but it's cute. But yeah. it's small. It's small. I thought that it, you were going to be able big. to approach it, but it's still like really impressive. Like it's Yeah, like, it's cool, but I thought it was yeah. going to like I literally thought it was going to be the same size as Grand Floridian. You can't smell it. No, and I thought you could smell it too. Yeah. So basically, I'm I'm upset. You're upset, or you're just disappointed. I'm disappointed, but it is still cool. But I can't wait for the tree to be here. All right. The plan was to go relax in those chairs. Ooh, perfect timing. Right as I pulled the camera, the family that was just standing in front a was going to uh, move. So we're gonna relax in these chairs, while we wait for the bugs, and just soak in the fireplace. Look at the creepy sky, because that's actually the clouds lit up with from Magic Kingdom parking lot. Very cloudy today. Very gloomy, but I like it. It's like Seattle. Oh, I can't wait to dive in, but I wanted to show you first the best lobby in the whole world. Look at the families having fun, relaxing, checking in, vacations filling their bellies, vacations starting, vacations getting christmas fried, all the good things. I got this spot right by the fire. It's so cozy. I'm cozy. So you know how we raise money for American Cancer Society. We were hoping to get to 10,000 by the time Dopey happened, um, so that we have done 10,000 Dopey to Dopey. So we were like, oh, we have like a couple hundred dollars left. But wait a minute, we had to make sure that we actually did the math right and that the amount that we said we needed for this marathon would hit 10,000. Well, we reached out to ACS to ask them for the number and we'd already hit it, which is so awesome. So. We still want to hit that $4,000 goal. So we still have 250 to go to hit that 4,000. We still would love to hit that 4,000. So the link is always in the description. But you guys are awesome and we already hit 10,000 dopey to dopey. Can you believe it? The stalker shot. Oh, there's Jared. They're staying here? Yeah, they're staying here. Here's the menu. We're thinking potentially this grilled portobello salad, but we also heard that they got Beyond Patties that you can ask the servers to swap out for the burgers. So we There's might- also this adamame. I think she's an appy. I'm looking for a full dinner right here. Okay, so this is the something worth melting for lemonade. It's divine. Look at this little- We've caused Britt to get it. <laughs> yeah, caused Britt to get it. Peer pressure. Britt and Jared are here with Hi, us. Hi, Hey. Such a good surprise. They're staying oh, here. I know. I feel so special. Uh huh. Ever. Right. Yeah, I'll keep and little buggy. One little buggy. Two, three little, three little buggies. buggies. Little yeah, we're playing Peppa Pig matching oh, cards. Yeah, it's totally working. <laughs> Look at this. It's really gonna be gone. It's gonna be in my belly in four seconds. So good. We got some barbecue sauce, burgers. We got some chicken over there. The delicious brisket dip. It's not good. Not good? It's gross. No, tell me it's good. Tell me it's good. It's really good. Good. And bison burger, right? Yeah. Yep. And what'd you get, Jerry? Bison burger, Same. awesome. Yeah. Delicious. Cousin. This is Coral. He 
That's Rupert's cousin, for sure. Rupert. Cute little. Joy. Rupert's cousin. I'm about to steal this. It's even the same so like style. Is this for sale or is this for decoration? It's definitely decoration. This is definitely going in my pocket. Where's the, where's the price tag? I bought two hot chocolates and two apple cider. So we can all just kind of like. We're in the spirit. Yeah. I love it. Jerry is caring. Oh my gosh, this seats are warm. None of our pals have been to the train room. This isn't the train room. This, this We're enlightening them. And we're all just relaxing. There's some occupants in the train room, so we're occupying the lobby area. Still is cozy. We got fireplace, we got coffees, we got ciders, we got hot cocoa, we got pajamas, we got Peppa Pig pajamas. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. We did not say goodbye to anyone in the vlog. We did not show us leaving, but we all were kind of like, let's be responsible. Coffee, not from the DBC lounge, <laughs> paid for. Um, so Peter has to run, that's why we came home. Britt and Jared, it was their last night at the hotel. Um, I just put on the Grinch. Um, the bugs have a small child, they had to go to bed. So. We all run. were like, let's let's hit the hit the bricks. Peter's gotta run. I'm going to sleep instead. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Seven mile run. Downtown Winter Park, here I come. More like downtown Chicago, here you come in a week. Guys, we got things planning for Chicago. This is gonna be such a good trip. Haven't been to Chicago in so long. Haven't stayed in Chicago this long in so right. long. Your other trips Weddings, been like Christmas tree, so Thanksgiving. Long. We got downtown nights planned. Downtown. We got. We're night. going back to our college. See some basketball. Oh, I even forgot about that. We're going to, and we love yeah. UIC we're basketball. We're not sports games. people, but we are UIC, we're UIC basketball, basketball fans. <laughs> and yeah. we just found out we're staying at a hotel. At a hotel one night in downtown Chicago. Yeah, so <laughs> we're excited. Get we're ready for Chicago vlogs. I now. need a coat so bad. Actually, we should go to Burlington Coat Factory. Cause Burlington Coat Factory? Is that their... No, I made that up. Oh. Well, anyways, that's pen, pen, what pen. we should do. We have, we got, like, no plans this weekend, but a lot to do this weekend, right? Yeah, I got so much work to do. I'm doing a run on Sunday, unexpectedly, with an old friend. Um, Britt and Jared this? asked what we were doing. Yeah, this is the fastest week ever. Our friend Dennis is in this weekend. Oh. Here comes the puppo. Oh, she jumped up just to chew on the pillow. Mm. No way, girlfriend. Guess who's watching Evie while we're in Chicago? <laughs> Tyler himself. Tommy Tom, Tommy Tom, my Tyler. Say it with me, Eve. Tommy Tom, Tommy Tom, my Tyler. Eve. This is the naughty side of Eve. I do this. I purely rile her up. Famous movie scene. <laughs> Famous Eve never lays in the couch scene right here ha happening. I got my shoes on. Got my gear laid out right here. Creepy Santa. Keeping an eye on everything. The Grinch. My two main girls. Goodbye. I got one podcast lined up in my music playlist because it's only a 50 minute podcast and I'll be out probably 70 to 80 minutes. Probably 70. But, I want to see something gross. No! Look how there's still, I never cleaned off the salty sweatiness off my armband from Sunday. Gross! Well, I'm wearing a long sleeve today so I'll be fine today. I'll wash it tonight. I'll see you after. Yeah. TTYL. All right, I am home, ran my seven miles. Um, it was very chilly, we ran past a bank, and the, uh, it was one of those banks where the clock has a thermostat on it, so it was 58. That is cold for Florida standards, for sure. Uh, I did have a long sleeve shirt on, so that helped. Um, doing something I haven't done in a long time, and I'm doing like the equivalent to like closing and opening a store. I, am, I ran late tonight, it's 12, 10 in the morning, and I'm gonna get up at seven to run 
two hours tomorrow, so I'm looking like almost a full half marathon. But I want to tell you guys, so I, I kicked butt just now. I ran an 8.10 or an 8.20 average for the seven miles, did in 56 minutes, really good pace. I felt pretty good. Right, here's what, my legs felt good. But that's from almost two years of conditioning and really the past 10 months of really conditioning. But I get the question, not often, but I have, I'll say I get it once every two to three months where somebody, whether through comments, messages, or in person is like, what, how do you do it? What's your advice? And here's my advice. And it's pretty consistently when I say it about running. No matter your level, no matter your experience, no matter how much time you have, just go out and run something as frequently as possible. Every day if you can. If you can go out and run two blocks, run one block, run half a block, walk a block, whatever it is, go out and do something consistently because what I've noticed is I took off the last four days unintentionally. We had a really busy week, had a lot of emotions, a lot of work things going on, but I didn't run the past four days. I was able to run a good pace today because that's my training, but what didn't go well is my stomach and my mind. And it's so apparent when I run consistently how how I eat and drink my liquids throughout the day affect how I feel during a run. I drank a little bit more carbonated drinks when it comes to like Red Bulls, Monsters, Pepsis this week than I usually do. I could feel that. I ate less whole vegetable-y kind of things and ate more heavy things like the chilies. I think I had two or three things of chili this week, some pasta, the Beyond Burger tonight, um, which is okay, but I feel better when I run if I balance it out with more fruits and whole vegetables like salads and vegetables and stuff. So it just goes to remind me that like the key for me to be healthy, and I don't want to like preface the losing weight aspect, but just being healthy was running frequently or doing some form of activity frequently will remind you to be conscious of what you're eating and putting in your body. Because even if it's okay, like I know the things I ate this past week weren't unhealthy and weren't I wasn't going to gain weight back or anything, but I just felt better when I was running by having more healthy options. So there's my little soapbox right now, but that all being said, even though it's 1230, the 1213 in the morning, I'm not going to bed yet because I need to drink. One of the big things this week I realized running just now is I have not drank enough water this week. I've been drinking a lot of coffee, a lot of Pepsi, a lot of like a few Red Bulls I think I had this week, maybe two which is more than I frequent now, but more so just a lot of coffee, not as much just straight water. And I am usually so good about drinking all my water. This is the longest clip ever. Sarah's going to be so interested when she watches this tomorrow about like how much she's going to keep it, how she's going to keep it. But I got to drink water because I got to get up in seven hours to run. Also, here's the status of Sarah. Hey. All right, November 15th, basically two weeks until the end of... November and on to December. So today's quote is by Sylvia Plath. Look at that, number 15, reading the correct day. So come and slowly we will walk through green gardens and marvel at this strange and sweet world. Ooh, I dig it, but that's coming up. My birthday. All right, it is way too late. I did fall asleep on the couch, but not long, not too long ago, so I need to get to bed. Second episodes of all the original Disney Plus shows came out, so I watched the second Jeff Goldblum about ice cream, which was totally awesome, and the new Imagineering story is out, so Sarah and I will watch it. I started watching it, but I know I knew that Sarah that I'd rewatch it with Sarah tomorrow probably. So let us know what you think on Disney Plus so far. So far, I love it. Um, I, I don't think it's trying to be something that's not. It's just all the Disney stuff plus a couple of new things. So I'm excited to see where it goes. But anyway, thank you for following along with us. Got a jam-packed weekend ahead of us. Gonna live stream, super pumped. Haven't done that in a while. Hoping to fundraise and finish out that 4,000 gold or $250 away now, I think, right now. Link is down below in the info. And we're gonna get there. And uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.